Good boy. Good boy. Of course. Milton. Maddie. Madeline. I mean, look, look how she just turned away from the camera. Jesus. Morning guys, I am here today and I am in need of a pick me up. And you know what that means? Zip fit all, oh, is this pink lemonade? Yes, yes, pink lemonade. Pink lemonade is my second favorite flavor, only behind black cherry. And to be honest, I think I'm out of those. <laughs> so I definitely need to restock on Zip Fizz, but like pink lemonade was a good draw for today. Using my Zip Fizz bottle opener to open it, I'm still amazed by this. I'm still amazed and terrorized, but still more amazed. Oh, okay. That actually wasn't that bad. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is early on a Sunday morning today, and I need to shake the sleep away, all right? So get ready to do it with me in three, two, one. We had a little zip fizz explosion here. <laughs> Pro tip, make sure your container is all the way closed. Happy Sunday. <sighs> every time, every time. Morning guys, just left the gym, incline treadmill, like it's just my favorite. Honestly, even though I'm doing a weightlifting program at my house that I really enjoy, I love coming to the gym and just walking on the treadmill. Like I don't think I'm at the point where I want to invest in a treadmill because all I can think about are logistics. Like I bet that would be heavy. How would we get it downstairs? Like. How do you have to assemble it? And then I'm just thinking, okay, when I wanna get rid of it, like now we gotta get it back upstairs. Like I just go too far with it. Okay guys, so I've decided something that I want to share with you guys. If you watch my meal prep from a couple of weeks ago, um, you will see that I said that the last week before my weigh-in, I wanna go total carbs because it like really helps me lean out and just not have the inflammation from the, the carbs that I'm doing if I eat net carbs. Well, I have decided that I'm doing total carbs for the foreseeable future. Like, uh, also, if you watch my What I Eat Wednesday from this past week, you will remember that at one point I said that I was so hungry and it took everything in me to just not eat an Atkins bar or a Quest bar and really to stick to my plan. Well, guys, I did that literally every day after that video. I just had like an extra Quest bar, an extra Atkins bar, like just eating these sweets mindlessly for no reason. And it really got me in a place where I wasn't being disciplined. Like you guys know what it takes to lose weight, okay? Discipline, consistency, that's it. And I could recognize like I'm not being disciplined. I'm not reaching the goals that I set for myself. And there's nobody to blame but myself. Like I have the power to choose to eat the correct food. And there was a point where I could resist it, where there could be a box of hero bars in my house and I could eat them one at a time and not think anything of it. But for some reason, I'm moving into a time where it's like, I just, I'd rather not have that stuff in my house because it's getting more difficult to control. So what I've decided is that during my meal prep, which is six days a week, I'm going to be doing total carbs. And I'm probably gonna give myself 30 total carbs um, just because I like my Zip Fizz. I like my Power Aids, which have a carb or two. Uh, you know, so I'm gonna give myself 30 total carbs. And on the weekend or on Sunday, when I'm doing my meal prep, I'll give myself net carbs. So 30 net carbs. Because what was happening was by having net carbs, I had room in my diet every day for an Atkins bar, for a Quest bar. And that became part of my normal diet. So 
when I was on the weekend or like some time where I just wanted to feel like I was loosening the reins or going a little extra, I'd have to go way extra because I had already built in those snacky desserts into my everyday diet. So what I'm hoping is that by removing those from my everyday diet, that way on the weekend, maybe I can have a Quest bar just one time a week and feel like, wow, that was a treat. Instead of just being like, I mean, it's a Quest bar on a Tuesday, you know? So that is what I'm going with. And honestly, I don't have a problem eating total carb except for the sweets like bacon, eggs, sausage, meat. I mean, it's all low in total carbs. The only thing that was pushing me over the threshold were those snack bars. So basically, that's just what I'm eliminating from my everyday diet. So this week I'm having breakfast again. Like if, I swear you guys, if you get tired of seeing me eat bacon, eggs and sausage, like, yeah, you're just going to have to keep clicking because, because as of right now, I am just really loving that. And you know, my motto, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, and then I think I'm also going to have bunless burgers this week and a vegetable of sorts. So let's get to Meyer. Let's get my hair did so I can get out from under this hat, which look at my hat, you guys, I <laughs> am in love with it. So I'm getting to the store, getting to the shop, and then I'm getting home to meal prep. Let go. with meal prep. I got a lot of good stuff coming up for the week and I am very excited about it. Uh, today is such a pretty day outside. It's super sunny and amazing. So I've decided that I'm gonna go take a walk in the park, okay? I might have done the treadmill this morning, okay? But nature is calling and I need to be in the park this afternoon, okay? You thought one workout was enough? I challenge you, do another one. Are you sitting down right now? Just get up and go do something. The day is out there. Now granted, I don't know where you live and like it is still winter in these here United States, right? So like do your best, but just do more. I felt that, like I'm doing that myself. Like bye you guys, I'm going on a walk and I will be back later to wrap up and show you all the delicious things that I made and I'm probably gonna have some ice cream. So yeah. Nature. Nature. All right, guys, I am back from the park. I am officially over 16,000 steps for the day and I feel awesome, but let me show you what I have for meal prep. For meal number one, we have eggs. I'm having four eggs and a tablespoon of butter 
two pieces of bacon and a piece of sausage. For my second meal, I'm having these bunless burgers. So here's some lettuce. Here's the burger. I have cheddar. I'm gonna do like a jalapeno bacon ranch burger. So I got this ranch that I've had for a while. I might put some barbecue sauce on it, yeah. And then some jalapeno here. And then for my drinks this week, I do have some Powerades and some ice drinks. And then I have Jello. And then these are the brick bombs, the keto brick fat bombs. I mixed in some heavy cream, so I'm excited to see how that goes. And some sweetener to make them a little bit sweeter. So I'm excited to try those for my What I Eat Wednesdays. And then I'm thinking if I need a snack, I saw my good friend Deanna, AKA Heartstrings Keto on Instagram. She does this thing where she just puts like pepperoni and some cream cheese and like a jalapeno on top and it just looks so good. And I was like, you know what? I got some pepperoni. So maybe I'll give that a try if I need a snack. All right guys, that is it for the day. I had a great day and I am looking forward to relaxing because you know I got that ice cream sitting out. And so I'm just gonna watch some television and wind down for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week. You know who you are. Your love this week is candy. I'll be forever yours. Love always, Mandy.